What's up? Okay, today is uh, July 21st, 2009. As you can see, I am fully clothed. It is 2.30 p.m. I am about to go get some coffee next door and fix my hair. And I just wanted to do a very quick update because I have to be running soon. Um, I just got an email from both of my doctors and they are going to be submitting the letters to Aetna um, for top surgery. So pretty freaking pumped about that because as you can see, um, you know, I don't bind. I wear a very tight sports bra. Sometimes I bind, but anyway, not the point. Um, so those of you, um, I have Aetna and was recently laid off, so I'll be probably switching to Cobra. Those of you, uh, that do know about Aetna should definitely, I highly advise you to check out article 0615, which is, um, I found this randomly one night when I was online looking at my insurance policy and it basically outlines that anyone who is diagnosed with gender uh, identity disorder, they do deem it medically necessary to, you know, make the body congruent with the body that they should be in, i.e. top surgery, bottom surgery. So, I mean, I have that whole article memorized. So if you have questions about it, actually don't ask me because I'm not, I'm not a professional. But, um, I mean, I've really learned a lot about that article by reading the Benjamin Standards of Care, etc., etc., and um, I'm really grateful to both of my doctors who've been very, very supportive and helpful with giving me advice along the way. So I'm going to submit that to Aetna, and uh, you know that it could, you know, very well get rejected um, because it does state that you have to be on hormone therapy for a year. The criteria basically lists X, Y, and Z, and there's any of number of things that could go uh, wrong with that. So I'm distracted by my hair. Um, Whatever, I'm just going to give it a shot. If I get rejected, then, um, you know, there are other ways to make this happen. So, I don't know, it's a bit of good news for me. Um, I also got, um, I use OkCupid, and uh, it's like a dating website, but it's also, I noticed there's a lot of trans folks on there, and a few actually contacted me last night, which made me really excited, and um, one, one person actually invited me to a dinner, um, on Monday for like a dyke dinner in Park Slope or something like that um, and she is a PhD and has a very interesting uh, has a very interesting thesis she's working on and another person plays tennis and another person and I are gonna go chill like maybe grab a beer sometime so I was pretty pumped about that to make some new friends um, I think I stated that the other day so um, I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty good, pretty optimistic about life, um, and that I thought I'd share that. And what else? Um, I'm coming to the sad realization that pretty soon I'll be needing to get a job because, um, as much as this project has really kicked off, I think I need, like, a full-time job just to keep me busy and have a stable income and all that jazz, so, um... I also wanted to say thank you very much to the some of my friends that have written me for